Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I am a student at the University of Central Florida, and today I want to share with you guys some college like hats, things you need to know before going to college, and all that kind of thing. So hopefully these are helpful. These are things I picked up along the way, and I thought I'd share because they are definitely super helpful in many, many ways. If you guys want to hear them, just keep watching. So starting off, when you are picking your classes, for any semester or anything, uh, always use ratemyprofessor.com. This is basically a review site for various professors, and so you look up what classes you want to take and find the professors, and then take the professors' names and put them into um, Rate My Professor, and their previous students have reviewed them there, and it will basically tell you if they're hard, um, if they're like tough grader, not tough grader, if you should take the class or not, it will kind of help you decipher if that's the teacher for you. Strongly recommend using this. Um, it's definitely super helpful and okay, yeah. so my next tip is to use Chegg or Amazon to get your books. Um, there are other websites also that I, you could use. I've mainly used Chegg personally, um, <laughs> but they are so much cheaper than your school bookstore. Your school bookstore is going to have them really expensive, but if you use these sites, a lot of times they're much, much cheaper than if you went to your school bookstore or like somewhere else. And going along with that tip, I would suggest getting your books online. So the benefit to getting your books online is that you can search them on your computer. So it's not like you have to be flipping through pages to find what you're looking for. You can literally just type in the search bar like, oh, my study guide says this. And then you can like type it in and it will literally pull up everywhere in the book where it says that versus if you have it physically then you have to like flip through and find it which can be really annoying and personally when I do get the books physically I don't open them often if at all and so I just feel like that's just a big big waste of money um going along with this actually don't actually get your books until you go to your first class a lot of times the teacher might tell you like hey like you actually don't need this book um, or something along those lines and you don't want to have bought it already and then just wasted your money so make sure you go to the first class and then do it because professors usually will let you have that grace period before you actually need the book and like if you get it online and <laughs> then you can just have it like literally when you get home just go on and buy it so yeah okay so my next tip is to use the keyboard um, shortcut command F. This will change your life if you haven't already done this. Um, basically, this is a key search for any page you're on. It works on Word, it works on pages, it works on the internet, it works on your computer anywhere and you hit command F and then you can literally just search your page for any word in that page. So if you wanted to look up the word, I don't know, YouTube. <laughs> Um, it will pull up where it says YouTube anywhere on the page if it's there. This can be really helpful if you're filling out a study guide or if you just have an assignment where you need to be looking up various things. And again, this will help you with your online textbook also where you can search your online textbook for exactly where it is within the book. So Command F is your new best friend. You're welcome. Next, use a planner. In my fall semester here at UCF, I discovered the power of Google Calendar. I love Google Calendar so much. Um, it's really, really great. I color code all my classes. I color code my extra curriculars. <laughs> I literally put everything on my Google, Google Calendar. I still use it now, even though we aren't in classes and stuff like that. And I use it for appointments. I use it for things that I have planned with my friends. I literally plan everything on there. It's great because it's all color coded. It pops up on my phone, my computer, my iPad, and it's just makes my OCD so happy. <laughs> but I also use their reminder tool. So you can put reminders on certain days. And so at the beginning of the semester, I'll go into my classes and I'll look up all my due dates and I'll literally just input them all as reminders into my Google Calendar. And that way, when I go to my Google Calendar, I know what I have due, 
And the beautiful thing about the reminders on Google Calendar is you can go in and check them off and it will cross them out for you, which is great. It literally has kept me on track so, so well for like my first year at UCF. Um, I literally never missed assignments. I was on top of everything. I was ahead most of the time because I just had everything scheduled out so beautifully on Google Calendar. But use some kind of calendar. I strongly recommend using Google Calendar. I would take a good 30 minutes to an hour at the beginning of each semester and just set it all up. And game changer, <laughs> let me just tell you. But yeah, strongly recommend that. So my next tip is to join clubs or organizations of some kind. I I am in Gamma Phi Beta, which is the sorority at my university. I love my sorority, I love my sorority sisters, and it, it gives me a lot of things to do. It keeps me busy and like that kind of thing. I've also met so many amazing people through it because I haven't just met people in my sorority, I've met people in other sororities and frats and different um, things like that. And I've met people who are in my major and I've met people who aren't in my major and I've found so many amazing people just through that. I also joined Advertising Club, which is part of my major. I'm an Advertising Public Relations major. Um, so I joined the Advertising Club in the fall, and so we would go and tour advertising agencies um, every few weeks. And we'd also have club meetings every week. And I've uh, made really cool friends through that as well, and I've just like met some really awesome people, and I've seen some really cool ad agencies. It's kind of giving me a glimpse into what I want to do as a career. So yeah, clubs are really awesome. There are so, so, so many of them. Um, at my university, there's literally surfing club, scuba diving club, um, advertising club, PR club, literally so, so many. And then there's sororities and frats also. And there's like, there's like a fitness club. And I don't even know how many there are. And I also know there's different sports clubs as well. So if you're interested in sports, there's gotta be something for you. There's literally something for everybody. So please, please, please go check that out. Get involved. School is so, so much better when you are involved and you have all these things to be doing and um, enjoying. Go out and meet people. Go out and go try something new. You're in a new place in a new campus and you can go and like meet new people and find something that you're interested in and I think that's the beauty of it. So <laughs> definitely don't just go to your classes, get involved and try everything or try try new things that you're interested in because you never know what will happen. Go online and apply for scholarships and grants. Fill out your FAFSA. Do all those things because even if you think you might not be good enough or you might not get anything, if you don't try, you'll never know. Partway through my spring semester, I actually got a grant that I had no idea that I would be getting. Um, I just got an alert that said, hey, you got this grant. And I was like, that's great. And I'm not sure where I applied for it, but I know that I applied for random grants and scholarships and it paid off. So definitely do that. There's ones that have essays. There's ones that don't have essays. There's ones that are like specific to random things that you might have in your life. So go on Google and figure it out and you never know. There is this app, it's called Sup. Um, it's a discount app. So it's called Zup. And basically it offers you discounts to like so many places around you. But if you're gonna go out to like bars and stuff or you're gonna go out to eat and stuff like that, it gives you discounts for literally everything. And I think it's a monthly fee, but a lot of my friends tell me it's worth it. So maybe look into up. <laughs> okay, so my last hack is to use Quizlet. Um, if you don't know what that is, which I'm sure most people do, it's just a really easy website where you can make flashcards, help you study. There's like games you can play to like help you memorize the terms on the flashcards and a lot of times you can find other people's flashcards with your same information so you don't have to remake them but you can still study them so i totally recommend making a quizlet account it's completely free you can put it, the app on your phone or on your ipad or you can just go to the website um it's super super helpful with studying and stuff and 
Okay guys, so that's all my college tips for today. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope these are helpful. And if you are starting at a new school in the fall, I'm really excited for you. That's awesome. Let me know where you're planning to go in the comments down below. Um, I go to University of Central Florida. I've made a few videos in the past about my school. If you guys wanna check that out, if you are planning to come to UCF, um, I'll have those linked down below or in the cards or something. I love my school. The campus is beautiful. The people are great. I've met so many really awesome people. I am so happy I chose UCF, but I'm sure that you might feel that way about any school you choose. Oh, one last tip. When you are looking for schools, try to tour them if you can. I know right now with pand the whole pandemic thing, that is kind of hard. Um, but I totally recommend it because your whole like vibe might change just by seeing a campus and being like, no, this, this one is for me. I want to be there. So if you can tour them, tour them. If not, definitely look up a video tour online or something like that. Yes, I strongly recommend that. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you guys want to follow my Instagram or any of my other social media, it will all be linked down below. Um, go ahead and check it out. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.